I uh, just did a video, I don't know how these sequence out there, but I was talking about my nephew who went a, on what we used to call a joy ride, and it, it seemed pretty joyful for him until he got home and uh, muggles reacted in the way they do and made him wrong for doing what he was doing and wrong for them worrying. And uh, Like I said, I sat with my sister to see if we couldn't worry. Of course she did. Uh, there were times when there was an immense amount of grief. She didn't know exactly what was going on. Uh, but every my nephew's back safe and sound, and so that's what we looked at. Uh, but the scope of this thing, how fast we are moving right now. Uh, I went, um, uh, we, I got here, and then it was there was Facebook. There's something up on Facebook. Uh, and eventually what cued it all together uh, was one of his friends in Russia, Kakistan or something, uh, said he's been in contact with me here, and that set off a flurry of Facebook things to uh, people who weren't aware of what was going on, and they got into the picture and worked through some Facebook things, maybe even a little bit of, well, I don't, they had information that they needed, needed to access accounts that they needed to get into and found out that my nephew was safe. So this kid in Russia was the impetus uh, to where we are in Pennsylvania. I talked to my daughter in Switzerland, and she said, I just got off Facebook, what's going on? There was a post and it disappeared, and she said I should have saved it, but it was all within, I mean, th this adventure was worldwide for one kid missing in Pennsylvania, and voluntarily missing, just going out to be him. Uh, and he used to live in Florida. His sister said, well, maybe this used to go on all the time in Florida. <laughs> we wouldn't know. But now that he's at home, you know, people notice it and, and miss him. But what I'm doing, I'm driving. Uh, my daughter left uh, our Toyota Sequoia here, and it's, uh, it's done its duty for us. It's an eight-passenger. It's, you know, it's been a great car, and I'm looking to sell it. So my sister says, look, you're traveling. You're going from here to Texas. Why don't you put it on Craigslist? and list it all the way down and see if you can sell it on the way down there. So I've got it listed in Knoxville. We're going to list it in some other places, and I'm going to list it in Houston. And uh, just uh, I'll keep you in tune with this adventure, too, because I'm not sure. I'm sitting at my sister's house looking at timing, wondering when it's going to be the right time to go, uh, the way this adventure turned out. Like I said, just the number of things that happened. Uh, the car got back uh, with my nephew. Uh, this is going to relate to an earlier video. And uh, there were no impoundment things or anything like that, which I, I believe the police wanted. They wanted to get their hands on that car so then they could fine you for all these things. But it got back right exactly where it was taken from. So, so I'll keep you posted along the way. I'll stop, uh, set up my iPad, and uh, got to go. www.micperformance.com